Stay on the path. There's nine billion people in the world that are counting on you to become the example for them. Will you let all of them down because of some people that were a part of your past? Here's what I'm here to tell you. A lot of the people you grew up with were a part of your life for a period of time. You've matured past them. When you win big, it's because you've matured up. Some of you right now, you're having conversations with the wrong people. Here's what I'll tell you. Your greatest circle, your greatest friends, you haven't met yet. They're coming in the new change. Because people that you want to run with that are better than you, they're waiting for you to come up and they'll meet you there. Listen, do you guys want to be diamonds or you guys want to be turds? Okay, listen, what do diamonds go through? Pressure. Pressure. What do diamonds have? How do they become worth more money? Cuts. I have scars all over me, guys. I have failed so many times. No more excuses. When a diamond goes through pressure and then it gets its cuts to get its worth, it also has got to get heat put on it. You guys got to love pressure? If you're a turd, you don't want to hear this. But if you're a diamond, you want to know, how do I become more valuable? By the way, you want to make more money? Increase your value. You got to go through cuts. You got to go through heat. You got to go through pressure. I love if you guys have scars on you. If you have scars on you, here's what I want you to do. I don't want you to hide it. People will love you when they know that you're an overcomer. Okay? I don't have respect for people that have cuts and can't heal. Hurt people hurt people. Okay? A lot of you in here, all you want to do is hurt people. You want to be a dick. Okay, turn your wounds into your weapons. Be weaponized with your past. Look at the people that you currently have in your life. Some of you right now, I can already tell that you don't have good people in your life. I can already tell that you have people in your life right now that aren't inspiring you to be greater or else you already would be. Just a newsflash, if you worked around me for a week, you would be different or I would kick you to the curb. I ain't wasting my time. I ain't wasting my energy on people that don't want to change. That's how I've chosen to live. But it sounds like some of the people that y'all have chosen to live around are completely okay with you being the way you are. You gotta find a new circle. And by the way, you're not all gonna make it. Some of you in here, you're gonna have low self-limiting beliefs. You're not gonna think you're worth it. You're gonna think this is stupid. At some point, you go back to your old life. In order to get a new life, you gotta give up your old one. You gotta give it up. Okay, either sacrifice for what you want or for what you want becomes a sacrifice. Very easy. You decide. You guys want to get rich? You want to have a bad marriage? You want your wife to be proud of you or your husband? You want your fucking team to be with you until you die? You want your clients to love you? You want to make a legacy life? Keep your fucking word. Because no one else is. No one. Today's the truth. Today, if you'll listen to me and you'll kill your pride, your ego, and your entitlement, you will get it all and you'll get it fast. Get ready for pain, get ready for suffering, get ready for hate. All you got to do is make a decision today to change. That's it. Raise your hand right now if you're an underdog. Seriously. If you're an underdog, I want you to raise your hand right now. I want to tell you something. What I've learned is what we don't have as a kid, we crave as an adult. I never had any love as a kid, so I wanted it as an adult. I never had any money as a kid, so I wanted it as an adult. My mom abandoned me when I was a kid, so loyalty I never had, I wanted it. I crave loyalty, I crave trust, I crave being financially free. I, I didn't want to be embarrassed anymore. Okay, I wanted to call my own shots and to live a life that count. Now listen, I will tell every one of you, if you don't believe in you right now, I swear I will come through this camera, I will throw you through a freaking window. Because in order for you to self-sabotage your own life, that is disrespectful to God.